Better known for its bucolic surrounds than as a centre of a buoyant boating industry, Hobart, the remote state capital of the island of Tasmania in Australia, is the home of a world-leading shipyard, that of Incat. Located in four vast sheds by the Prince of Wales Bay on the banks of the River Derwent, a staff of more than 300 are busy cutting, welding and winching enormous plates of marine-grade aluminium alloy to form the hull of two passenger ferries. These vessels are bound for Sydney Harbour, but Incat's catamarans and ferries can be found from Aarhus to Baku and were previously used by the US Army, Navy and Marine Corps. The company was established here in the late 1970s by a former fisherman and ferry operator Robert Clifford, who divides his time now between Australia and the UK. It's just like a big Lego set, if you like, we're cutting out all the pieces and uh, putting them together. Fabricating the ships, fabricating the aluminium first of all, then all the interiors, all the electronics and electrics, and the machinery that goes into the ships. Most of the machinery comes from Europe, but it's all put in by tradesmen in Hobart that love building better things. The remarkable thing about Incat is its location. Despite the expense of importing aluminium from mainland Australia and France, Incat plies its trade on specialism, speed and its dexterity in fulfilling complicated orders, all made easier by loyal staff. Hobart's only a small population, but we do have a fairly significant number of people that work for us. and. One way or the other, they get their living out of uh, shipbuilding. One of the benefits is that, that uh, the isolation from the rest of the world is actually a help in many ways. Yes, there are transport difficulties getting things in and out, but the population doesn't like to travel too much. They often go to other parts of Australia and other parts of the world, but they always like to come back because Tasmania is a pleasant place to live. It's a very good place to live as far as the climate's concerned because we don't have snow, we don't have massive amounts of heat. It's stable. If you're, if you're working in a shipyard in very, very cold conditions, it's uncomfortable. If you're working in very hot conditions and welding, it's very uncomfortable. We're very lucky that we've got a stable climate that's ideal for shipbuilding. One of the problems that I have, of course, is keeping that continuity of work up and, and uh, it's very, very difficult sometimes to keep an even flow of work. It's a cyclic business. When the airlines got into the cheap travel, etc., we had a downturn in the business. But now the airlines are getting so saturated and the airports are getting such dreadful places to be, uh, ferries are, are once again leading the way and the new, better ferries are being designed to compete with the airlines. Incat's boats aren't just sturdy, they're quick too. Having been awarded the Hales Trophy in 1990 for the fastest transatlantic crossing, the manufacturer subsequently smashed its own record not just once, but twice in 1998, and remains the manufacturer of the fastest vessel to have made the journey from the US to Europe. We build lighter ships than other people. It doesn't mean they're not stronger. They have to be strong and light. Uh, typically, a ship we're building at the moment is some 100 odd tons lighter than its previous model. And that 100 tons goes into carrying 100 tonne more cargo, or 100 tonne more passengers, etc. We have built at least four boats for the oil industry over the years. There's been five boats that have been gone into the military. There's a lot more interest at the moment in military ships because what's good for carrying large cars and trucks is also good for carrying tanks and helicopters and even aeroplanes. Islands are often home to tight-knit communities and the residents of this remote Australian state, adrift in the wilds of the Southern Ocean, have a unique and long-held maritime heritage that's well suited to Incat specialty. The shipyard men, being an island state, uh, nearly everybody owns a boat. The, all their families own boats, etc. So they're a boating community. So they love boats and they love seeing uh, the new innovation. They love selling boats, they love building boats. They love showing off their ability. And yes, we all enjoy building boats. It is very much a family type business that we all work together, all with one aim, doing a better job. For Monocle, in Hobart, I'm Josh Fennett.